And here we are at the active area of our landfill. It's known as the active area. It's because it's where trucks and vehicles unload and we're filling our landfill. We started filling at the Rotefeld landfill in about 1985. The site's nearly 105 acres and this active area is about five acres. We accept nearly 750 tons of material here at the active area each day. At our current filling rates, we'll have consumed our entire permitted space by about 2026. We're currently working with the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources on a vertical expansion at this site, but that will only gain us about another three years of site life. Our limited site life is just another reason for everyone to remember that we need to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Here we are at one of the new cells of our landfill that's currently under construction. It's the perfect time to be here because it's a sneak peek at what the landfill liner consists of and how the liner system works. The landfill liner system is made up of four feet of compacted clay, followed by a geomembrane plastic layer, and then a geotextile cloth layer. On top of that is our leachate collection system. Leachate is the liquid that drains to the bottom of the land. It's important that we collect this material because if it builds up, it has the potential to impact groundwater. Our leachate collection system consists of a foot of aggregate or stone and a series of leachate collection pipes. The stone and the pipes transport the leachate to a leachate collection sump where it's then pumped out of the landfill and to our wastewater treatment plant. This connection to the wastewater treatment plant demonstrates why it's so important to manage our materials responsibly. Hazardous materials and chemicals can pass through our waste systems because they're not designed to treat them. This is why we have separate facilities, such as CleanSweep, to help you manage your household hazardous waste.